YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie. Welcome to my Phasmophobia Complete Equipment Guide Series 2.0. I say 2.0 because back in the early parts of 2024, I was in the midst of uploading a Complete Equipment Guide Series and uh, the Eventide update released where they changed a bunch of the equipment. And during that time, I was kind of on a bit of a hiatus from burnout of Phasmo. And so I just figured, hey, why not we just redo the whole thing? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cover all the tiers, everything you need to know about it, all the ghosts associated with it, if it's relevant to that specific piece of equipment, and a couple other things. So do me a favor. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. We're starting with the dots projector, okay? So enough pitter patter, chitter chatter. Let's get into it. All righty, we are on Willow Street. We're starting with the tier one dots projector, of course. And uh, as always, if you want to find your way back for this type of content, follow along in the series, etc., you can uh, hit the subscribe button down below. I normally record this on my stream, but I'm doing it off stream today. I had some time today, so link for that's down below as well. Anyways, the dots projector, man. Uh, dots is an acronym that stands for detector of the supernatural. Not that you really need to know that, but uh, it's it's just. A little bit of extra phasma lore for you. Alrighty, uh, I should probably grab a flashlight, so let's go do that. Alright, we got the flashlight. I'm so used to playing on custom difficulty settings where I have the breaker starting on by default. Uh, I forget how inconvenient it is with the breaker starting off. So, uh, this is not a map guide. We are on Willow Street, and as I said, this is professional difficulty. So, uh, we should get all three evidences. I'm not really gonna worry about doing the contract on the tier one dots um because it's just so bad dude but we do need to get some lights on here so you can at least see a little bit all right so with your dots projector okay uh this is the stylus you have it in your hand to turn it on for me i'm a mouse and keyboard on pc uh to turn it on for me is my right click mouse okay and as you can see we have a nice large circle and by large i mean small of freaking dots and what you want to do is you can either hold the tier one in your hand or you can walk up to like a flat surface like a counter or a table and for me it's my c keybind for you it might be f if you're on mouse and keyboard and you just hold that down the holographic icon will pop up and you can uh set it down that way and then voila now with the tier one it's a good rule of thumb to have two of these going into a contract if you're playing by yourself um, just because you don't really get that much dots projection with the tier one. So I'm going to hop out of here. We're going to go grab the tier two now, which is uh, much better than the tier one and uh, go from there. OK. All righty. So we're back on Willow Street with the tier two. And as you can see, it's much better. And with the tier two, you don't really need to if you don't want to. Uh, but I did want to kind of show you uh, show you it, obviously. So same thing with the with the tier one, except you don't turn it on while it's in your hand. You just hold your place key mind and you can set it on the floor with the tier two. You want to have it on the floor. You can put it on the wall, but it's really not that good. And also a quick little tip. If you're in a house that has a room above the floor you are currently on, you can actually do ceiling dots. So just look up at the ceiling and bada bing, bada boom. But again, this is a tier two. It's more beneficial to place this on the floor and then you have your dots spectrum. Now, I did say in the intro that we're gonna be covering all the ghosts that are correlated with this piece of equipment. So with that said, uh, and the dots is a very special thing because there's one particular ghost that you have to have a video cam for to see the dots, okay? So these are all of the ghosts that you need. Uh, the only one that I will make a note of that requires a video cam for is the Gorio, okay? The way the Gorio dots work, you have to have a video cam and you have to be out of the ghost room to see the Gorio dots. So you can either get your video cam, set it up on a tripod, set it up in here. The only downside to this with Gorio dots while playing solo is if you don't have any other evidence and dots is the only evidence you are getting if you're playing insanity then how are you going to know if it's gorio dots or if it's not so the way it works is the gorio dots will only appear on the video cam screen and not your player's naked eye okay so it's if you're in a room like this where it's kind of hard to be out of the ghost room but still see in it's very hard to do uh, because you can't even go into like this side room here uh, because this all still counts as the ghost room technically. So if you if you have a bedroom like one of the bedrooms upstairs, it's much easier 
to set it up that way. It's it's just the Gorio sucks anyways. I, I hate the ghost. Uh, let me know your least favorite ghost down in the comments. But yeah, that is the tier two dots, and that is all the ghosts associated with it. You got the Wraith, Phantom, Banshee, Yure. You can read all of these on the screen. So um, let's go grab the tier three dots now, and I'll tell you about it, and I will show you what I believe to be is the best tier of the dots projectors. Alrighty, Roo, here we are back on Willow with the tier three dots projector. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why it's so much better, okay? And with the Eventide update, they'd actually added a, uh, a new feature to the tier three dots. Look at this freaking dot spectrum, dude. And then with the Eventide update that came out earlier in 2024, they added something where you can click it and it pauses it. So you don't have to hear that noise ever again. It's so good, dude. It's so good. With the tier three, this is what you want to do. Ceiling dots, baby. Put it on the ceiling and your whole room is filled with dots. I mean, you can put it on the wall, but it's just much better to have it on the ceiling if you can do ceiling dots. Obviously, if this was a room upstairs, we wouldn't be able to do that. Now, I would show you the dots in in action, like if we have a dots, like a dots ghost, but A, I don't want to waste your time. B, uh, a good rule of thumb would be after you figure out what the ghost room is, make sure the dots are one of the first things you put in the ghost room because dots can take a little bit to to show up. So uh, your spirit box uh, and other pieces of equipment that we're going to cover that are evidence related, those you'll get a little bit quicker, but the dots is, is one of the ones that's going to take a little bit. So it, it's a good rule of thumb to just bring this in after you found the ghost room that way you can go and set it up and have a higher chance to get dots earlier so that is the tier three it is the best tier item of the dots and uh yeah i i don't remember what level you unlock it at but it is very very good and i i don't think you unlock it like super late so you get it pretty early i think it's like 30. let me know if you know what it is let me know down in the comments please but uh yeah that's all you got to know so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you learned something if you did let me know down below again like and subscribe if you if you enjoyed this content and uh if you want to figure out how to level up as fast as you can as a new player you can check out this video right here and i'll see you over there thanks for watching